Heroes will be made and dreams will come true in the next two weeks. Who's going to capture our imagination by becoming the Cinderella of this year's big dance? Nick and I will find out starting in today's game between the Kentucky Wildcats and the Loyola Ramblers. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Ramblers should be in for what looks like an insurmountable battle, Dick. What are the keys for them to get a victory tonight? Well, there's a few things that they absolutely have to do. First, take care of the basketball. Turnovers can really kill any rhythm offensively. Second of all, don't let your man beat you to the rebound. And lastly, play solid fundamental defense and don't get caught gambling. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. He'll regroup the offense. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Very soft defensively. No pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. Right, and that's what happened when the defense is too aggressive and looking for the steal. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 7. Terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. Number 25 takes it away. With a light steal attempt, the defense is looking to gain possession of the ball. you got to be careful when you go for an aggressive steal like that, Brian. If you miss, you could be in trouble. The Wildcats have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Fed the low block. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help shot. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Number 23 is emotionally pumped up. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. The power forward takes the pass in the paint. He does the sweet fake shot. And up. They still don't score. He shoots from the elbow. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Coming out of the timeout, I'd expect we're going to see more focused play on both sides. One would assume so. He keeps the dribble as they reset. He's got to get rid of it. Inside. Now the turnaround jumper. Can't get the shot to drop. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Trying to pack it inside. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. He takes another bad shot. Bad shots killed chemistry, Brad. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Double team now, bad angle. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing. She's essentially right. Down to the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. You'll go to the line. Foul shot, no good.
He misses his second shot. Secures the board. They need to get out and run their lanes now. Inside. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Dump it inside. Number 25 takes the feed. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Watch again. Trying to draw contact. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> he goes with a jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. He dials long distance. Way off target. trifecta for the Knights. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. And Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nessler. Nice to have you along with us. On the dribble. Gives it up. Great pressure. Great double team. Really explosive. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Gave it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. He shoots from downtown. Tickles a twine. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job running him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. And it really converts an offensive transition. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Great elevator man, man. That's the elevator guy. What a high riser. perimeter jumps in perfectly executed working it around the perimeter tries for two in and out Number 25 is charged with the foul. First personal foul. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. They're definitely having some fun out there. First shot, good. Kentucky have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. It's the third shot. Moving it around the perimeter. The shooting guard with the ball. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. They push it up on the break. Oh, he's got hops like you, man. He got hops <laughs> like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. the dribble gives it up he shoots from the top of the circle he couldn't get it to fall
The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Oh, what a strip, Brad. Nothing gonna come easy tonight, baby. They are really playing for keeps. They are heating up this building with their shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Defensively down on low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Way out on top, they had a shot block. They get it out into transition. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lead. Anticipating really well. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. They work it around the arc. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect that they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They work it around the perimeter. Number 25 takes the pass. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. the circle they work it around the perimeter work the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart off the rim and no good tries for two I love the sky hook especially when you get great post position on the interior Three makes the shot. Gave it up. The shooting guard gets the ball. He's got a nice shot fake. Controlling the ball. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Small forward gets the pass. Way off target. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Number 32 grabs it. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. That's the weakest double team I've ever seen, Brad. They were a little bit too careful, I think, not to foul. Great anticipation defensively. perimeter for the bucket well this isn't the contest we expected so far this is turning into a blowout baby somebody better find some heart and start doing the little things looking to move it around the perimeter from the baseline nice shot Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick down on the sidelines. The losing team is starting to get a bit anxious. Their coaches can sense that, and they're telling their team to just relax. 
could it be the bright lights that have this team second guessing so far tonight, Brad? For two, and in and out. Dick are doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He takes the shot from the baseline. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. With a fadeaway jumper, look at that follow through. Can't get the shot to drop. Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what a acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. Long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny up the ball. And a momentary look from three-point land. The shot from the baseline. Wow, used to scream perfectly, but the shot didn't go. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Look at that spacing. Gave it up. Takes the pass in the paint. Trying to draw some contact. frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The frustration right there. Looking for a good shot. Defense giving some room. From three-point territory. Off the rim and no good. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. The crowd begins to chant. It really is something, isn't it? He tries the three. He drains it. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. One too many dribbles and a steal. Number 23 picks up the foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression.
Oh, right, right there. They missed him inside. You got to get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. Dump it inside. Turns it over. right on his hip and I think he's holding his ground Dick doing a great job I tell you doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off and off the mark they still don't score trying to get that ball movement get that good spacing entry pass in the paint goes up for two great play to take that to the basket so we get another look Moving it around the perimeter. He got fouled and the bucket. He took it about himself, Brad. Big play, big time score. Number 54 going to the charity line for the first time tonight. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Another turnover. And we're not talking out the turnovers either. On the dribble, gives it up. Up and inside. Tries for two. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Looking for a good shot. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. They worked the perimeter. He went for the steal in the post and he missed it there. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Shot clock is dead. off the pass. Gave it up. Looks at the three. Way off target. He fires from long range. He drains the shot. At halftime, the Wildcats are ahead by 19. We've really been on a roller coaster here tonight, Dick. Any highlights of the half for our viewers? I picked this basket in the paint for the highlight of the first half. We saw lots of inside scoring in the first half, and I think it's going to be the key for both teams in the second half. The teams are just about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's see how this one unfolds. Loyola just couldn't seem to stop turning the ball over in that first half, Dick. 
Hey, if you ask me, these guys haven't clued on the magnitude of his game yet. They need to take care of the ball from here on in, or they have no shot, and they'll be running lots of laps tomorrow in practice. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. They work it around the perimeter for the deuce. Perfectly executed. Jumped in front to take it away. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Rims out. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. And he can't hit the shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards that they have. Yeah, that helps. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. He better get rid of it. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Goes up for two. Up and in. <laughs> Working it around the perimeter. He dials long distance, and he misses the shot. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. The Ramblers have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. You guys got the replay ready up there. Here we go. Terry look from three-point land takes the pass in the paint he puts it in with contact and all looking for contact and he scores despite the hack This should be an easy bucket. For two, in and out. Picks off the pass. He shoots from left of the circle. Number 32 with the tray. But inside. Number 25 is called for the foul. Couldn't put it in off the screen inside. Tough luck. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. For 
two. Can't get the shot to go. He intercepts it. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. On the dribble, gives it up. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Puts it up, looking for contact. Number three makes the finger roll. They work it around the perimeter. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. That's basic. The shooting guard receives the ball. Sweet-looking shot. He is super. He really is. Inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He looks for the bomb off the rim and no good. Number three is whistled for the foul. Third personal foul. What a play! These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? The small forward handles the pass. He tries the three. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Tries a three. Kentucky are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they have to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Jump hook from the low block. He can't get the hoop to fall. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He posterized him. The Wildcats are up by 24. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. He goes to the free throw line. Makes the shot. The Wildcats are ahead by 25. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Ten on the shot clock. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Tries for two, and he missed. The small forward handles the feed for three. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. He pump fakes. 
Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dave. He's out of control, baby, out of control. They'll work it around the arc. On the outside, the shooting guard receives the pass. Nice feet. Gets it back out. Runs him first, Dick, and works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He shoots from the angle. This one has really gotten ugly, my friend. Yeah, it's all but over unless things change in a hurry. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating. Gets the rejection. Gave it up. <laughs> on the dribble, gives it up. Ten on the shot clock. Up and inside. Guns up the deep one. He makes the shot. Gave it up. Steals the pass. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. For the bucket, and off the mark. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. For two. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. Comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Can't get the shot to go. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the crowd certainly hope for a closer matchup. One side of the arena is celebrating in the stands, and the other one is just sitting there in complete disbelief. Guys? Gets the first. Second one, good. On the dribble, gives it up. Fakes it. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Dick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He shoots from the top of the key. And when are these guys going to be able to make a shot? This is what you're supposed to do down low, is go up strong. I tell you, that was great post play. Clinic 101 and how to explode to the goal. He attempts a jump hook. Doesn't go. Working it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Easy one. Gave it up. Get that 
sucker out of the game, man. You really need to protect the ball around these guys. The fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He shoots from left of the circle. How about this? Here's a spin down in the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. He used the sky hook, the jump hook, and now a spin move to the goal. move with a face up. I tell you one thing, Brown, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Goes up for two. Off the rim and no good. Number 55 with the fake. He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. On the dribble, gives it up with the fake. Runs him first, it, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respects that are saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Tries for two for the bucket. Up for the lay in. Picks off the lazy pass. Gave it up. Good fake. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. He shoots from downtown. Gets it to go. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Picked out of the air. The dribble gives it up. Cross court. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots from the top of the circle. Ten on the shot clock. Gave it up. There's a double team waiting there. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. This one could be over. Can you imagine? I was a bad teacher. <laughs> Time to watch this game tape, baby, to see where you went wrong. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Working around the arc. Tempo of the game really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Fake. 
Take some pride on a defensive end. Stolen. There's the pick. Loyola is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Jumped in front to take it away. He gets the rejection. Intercepted. With a long bomb. On the dribble, gives it up. The kick out. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. Dick. He's done a three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. They work it around the perimeter. He unloads a three. Rims out. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Number 55 is charged with the foul. Second team foul. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Got the high pick. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. That's why some coaches don't like it when players go for the steal. They end up with fouls or in foul trouble. They work the perimeter. Takes away the pass. He attempts the trifecta. He doesn't get the hoop. What a show on, man. Great boy having the skill. Now they work it around the perimeter. Run him right into the screen again. What did I say? Ten seconds to get it off. Let's it fly. Off the rim and no good. Shot clock is dead. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. For two. Perfectly executed. Number 23 picks up the foul. Fourth team foul. Here's a double team. All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on. One team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. The Wildcats is off to a strong start with an opening round victory here. Hey, keeping the momentum will be crucial as they have one day off before they head back to the hardwood for their second round game. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale.